Test, test. Well, at least it's working. Um, let me see. Alright, so. Alright, I guess that's better, huh? Does that look okay? Okay. And so I guess we're running a little bit late, but. Um, I think whoever's going to be here is probably here, so. Did you say that Irma wasn't feeling well, or did you say something earlier about Irma, like you not feeling? I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, I turned it off briefly, but then I turned it back up because we were talking about Sarah. So. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Alrighty. But good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Qigong Practice. I'm Tim, and uh, with us today is my my movement mentors. Deborah, who's uh, working behind, oh, there she is. And that was Cindy's arm that was sticking out from, from the sidelines. And we have uh, the church's uh, paint crew doing the uh, children's room. And we have the children right behind us uh, having lunch right now. So, um, And so we begin uh, with opening the door by stepping out with uh, our left foot. And we can commence to unpacking our chi and getting our energy, which is our chi and our breath, ready to use. Now let's broaden our chest, connect our breathing, and take a nice inhale and exhale as our arms move. One more time, let's broaden our chest. All right, so. From here, let's reel the silk, bringing our hands up through the middle, back to back, and getting a nice full body motion going. Bringing the hands up through the center, and then letting them go out into the universe. As you can tell, the children are in the background enjoying the lunch. If they like, they can join us with a little bit of, for a little bit of uh, 
gentle motion. Although it might be too gentle for their taste. <laughs> they have a lot of energy going on back there. All right. Nicely done. Let's uh, do some gentle monkey bear or ring the temple bell, as they say, and just let your arms go limp and twist the waist and let your arms just flap. Get everything loosened up. Getting ready to twist at the waist. So let's uh, put our hands uh, there in the, over our kidneys and rotate at the waist gently. As always, uh, if you experience any uh, Discomfort, uh, either discontinue or limit your range of motion. And let's go the opposite direction. Let's do two more of these. All righty, and then let's come back to center. While we're on hiatus, uh, we're going to the park every day for a walk, and I ran into this guy named Dennis that that is very accomplished in uh, Tai Chi and Qigong. And so we were working out and he uh, taught me a, a few more forms. And uh, so this one is called uh, Thrusting Hands. And it starts off like this with your hands at your side. And I'll just do one hand just to demonstrate. As, you, as your hand leaves your side and comes forward, your palm twists up and then it ends right about uh, the height of your head and then you retract it and your palm rotates back facing downward. So let's, let's try that on one side a couple times. Thrusting hands. Okay, let's uh, give the other hand a shot at it. So as your hand leaves your hip area, the, the palm twists and faces upward. And then as you retract, it comes back facing downward. So let's give that arm a few, a few repetitions. Now let's see if we can alternate our hands. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Takes a little while for the neurons to start flowing. How's your neurons flowing? Nicely done. Well, let's go ahead and loosen our hands and shake off that water. And, uh, let's just involve our whole body. Let's, let's do like the animals do and just act like we're shaking off the water.
Alright. Okay, okay, good. Cool. Um... Oh, that... There we go. I thought there was something missing. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry? Okay, uh, it's starting to get just a little bit loud, but if you... No, one more, could you do one more click? That's fine. Now, is that too low for you? Oh, you can't hear me at all? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, you know what? Oh, okay. We can turn it up a little more if you like. <laughs> if you can't hear me... That, that's fine, yeah. If you can't hear me anyway, then you might as well turn music up. I get it. Okay, so... That's fine, yeah. Yeah, just... Just... You know what I'm doing. Okay, so... We shook off like the animals do, and so now let's uh, do the wise owl gazes back. So we put our hands like this, and give a nice twist with our neck over one shoulder. Pause for a moment and take a, a nice relaxing breath. And now switch out and gaze over the other shoulder. Again. Pausing and uh, taking a nice gentle breath. And now let's switch back again. And gaze over our shoulder. And breathe. One last time, let's switch over to the opposite side. Looking over our shoulder. Taking a nice breath. And then come back to center. So let's continue with some neck uh, relaxation and stretching exercises. And just look up to the heavens. And then look down to the earth. Stretching the front of our neck as we look up. And stretching the back of our neck as we look down. Let's do that one more time each way. And then look down. Now let's tilt our ear over to one shoulder. Take a breath for a moment. And then gently come over to the opposite shoulder. Get a nice stretch on the side of your neck. Let, let, those, let the tension flow out. Let's do that one more time on each side. And then back over opposite side. All right. So let's uh, broaden our stance a little bit so that we're stable. And rotate our arms at the elbow. We're going first with this arm going inboard to outboard. Just getting that elbow joint loosened and lubricated. Now let's do the other arm from inboard to outboard. All the while just Maintain a normal, easy inhaling and exhaling. Okay, now switch back over to this arm, going from outboard to inboard.
And then we switch over to the other arm. Going from outward inward. Gently rotating at the elbow. Getting that joint loose and lubricated. Which helps prevent injuries. Okay, good. So let's couple our hands together and just roll forward with our shoulders, kind of like we're crawling across the lawn on our elbows. And let's go in the opposite way, like we got to back out of there. Good. So let's push the bamboo out of the way with some alternate arm crosses. Of course, this is also a uh, Tai Chi blocking movement, but we're using it for internal strengthening. Okay, good. Let's uh, spin the silk wheel. Be working on our shoulder. And just like our other joints, uh, we want to loosen and lubricate that shoulder and strengthen the muscles that support the whole shoulder group, which is quite a complex uh, joint. switch over to the other arm, give it a chance. Okay, nicely done. Let's uh, step back in shoulder width. Let's throw our hands up to the 12 o'clock position and spin the wheel. Why don't we go ahead and reverse direction?
Let's go for one more round. And when we get to the 12 o'clock position, let's stop. And let's bring our hands down to right in front of our heart. And let's circle our breath like we're holding a, a ball. Let's circle it out to the front of us. You can make your circle as big or as small as you like. Just palms facing each other. They can be holding on to a big ball, a small ball, energy ball, or the moon. Let's go ahead and reverse direction of that circle. All right, nicely done. You can go ahead and park your hands right in front of your center right at the moment because we're going to Carry the moon. Carry the moon up over our shoulder, getting a nice twist. Looking back over our shoulder and hands held high. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe naturally. Connecting your breath with the movement. To take advantage of your body position. So glad the kids have joined us. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I love it. Okay, so why don't we give our arms a little bit of a break? and just circle our arms just to get the blood flowing back the right way. Kind of like we're embracing the tiger and then returning to the mountain. So as your hands sweep upward, go ahead and let them come all the way up overhead and stop. And check your feet, your footing, because we are going to play with the rainbow. So just look up and imagine that your fingers are just kind of playing with the colors of the rainbow overhead.
And now, why don't we go ahead and dance with the rainbow? Let's just a modified version. Let your your fingers just touch the top of your head where all your energy paths meet. And then as you shift your weight, you shift your body position. Let's do this two more times each side. So, see, that was hmm, one, two, I guess one more time, and one more time over here. And then let's step in and press it all down. Let's uh, just just for the sake of the kids who are with us, let's do uh, Gentle Monkey Bear again. Yeah, let's do Gentle Monkey Bear. Have you guys ever done this? This is this is what they call Gentle Monkey Bear, and it's just a nice. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. We do the Gentle Monkey Bear, and then we do the the Tai Chi shake. <laughs> yeah. There you go. The gorilla bear. Gentle gorilla bear. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, looks like everybody got the smile out of their hip pocket and put it on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So let's um, continue on. Let's do a a shoulder stretch. Let's just uh, put our hands on our hips and just gently arch down, trying to touch our nose to our toes. Maybe settle for just our kneecap. And let's try the other side, see what we can do over here. <laughs> well, these guys can do it. <laughs> yeah. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah. So just alternate back and forth as you feel. Honestly, can't get enough stretching. It's just continue doing this stretch or you can join me in the tabletop stretch which is uh, another fine stretching if you just let your body drift forward 
Let your hands drift down and just hang with your your belly resting on your upper thighs. And just make sure you breathe and put your hands on the ground if you can reach them. Make sure you can breathe properly and, and that you're not in uh, discomfort. So then why don't we slowly rise up uh, one vertebrae at a time and slowly straighten up our back. Let your arms just kind of hang limp at the sides and let them go with gravity. And then raise your hands up overhead with a little bit of a back stretch. Take a nice relaxing breath. And then gently come on down for another tabletop stretch. Hang out here for a little bit. Make sure you can breathe okay. Take a nice little extra breath and then again we'll We'll straighten our body up, one vertebrae at a time. Let that back just kind of unfold as you rise up. It's a little, nice little back bend. Raising your hands up, overhead. Now, this time, let's grab the, the clouds. Gla Grab the clouds and pull them down into you. Okay, let's try that again. Let's let's use our our creature from the Black Lagoon hands, <laughs> our monster hands. Reach up, 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 and grab the clouds, and then pull them back down into you. All righty then. Let's do do that. One more time with monster hands and grab those clouds. Pull, 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 pull down. All right, nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it pushes the energy and the breath down into your belly. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got to do here. Well, um, of course we can, we can play with the clouds. So, so you begin with your hands basically in front of you, and then you can let one hand drift across like this and the direction your elbow is pointing is the way it goes and your bottom hand is going to kind of follow and then when you get to the end you just kind of switch and then so you're playing with the clouds and each each hand gets a turn and you can like with your bottom hand, you can pretend that it's just sliding across like the kitchen counter or something smooth. And then change hands like that. Or if you want, you can just pretend like you're carrying a, a baby. As is always, you know, all of these exercises that we're doing, the important thing is just doing them, just movement. Oh yeah. 
We got it all. <laughs> yeah, just kind of like putting your your mind, just kind of letting your mind go. All right, you guys did so good. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> yeah, I know it. <laughs> I know it. Well, let's do some scooping from the sea. We're, what we're gonna do, and I'll just kind of face sideways so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Just kind of step out with, with one foot, and we're gonna scoop the riches from the sea. All the goodies, we're going to scoop them out of the ocean, out of the sea, and bring them up and let them spill over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's scoop a couple more hands full of riches from the sea on this side. And then get ready to come back to center because we'll have to do this on the other side. The other side. Okay, so stepping out on the diagonal, nice firm stance, make sure you're, you're nice and balanced and comfortable, you know, and scoop from the sea, scooping up the riches, all the goodies. I love this music track. It just fits <laughs> so nicely. But you got to keep an eye on me because I'll get lost in the music, you know. And it's like, okay, somebody tug on my leash. <laughs> it's like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm incorrigible like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are just natural. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and scoop one last time because we got some other exercises to do but you know what since we've already got our foot out like this why don't we just take the opportunity to spread our wings yeah an owl okay 
an unidentified bird. <laughs> or I always think of a some kind of seabird like an albatross or something, something big and <laughs> canary. There we go. Hummingbird, that works. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and just switch sides so that we can give our other side a chance to flap wings, spreading our wings. You can do it slow, medium, or however you want to. Dub. So I'm thinking as long as we got our foot sticking out here, we can transition to another uh, exercise pretty readily, and that is calming the waters. Just imagine you're you're up to your up to right about here in the pool or at the lake and you're just using your hands to smooth out the ripples in the surface of the water, maybe so you can see the fish down below. So let's go ahead and smooth those ripples out one more time. And as we come back, we can come back to the center position and then step out with the other foot and continuing to calm the waters. There we go. So just because we can, we can go from calming the waters to piercing the clouds. So we can just flip our hands like this and pierce the clouds and then scoop the clouds out of the way and continue, yeah. 
Exactly. Do this one last time on this side, and then we can go ahead and switch over and let the other side have a chance to pierce the clouds as well. So we come back through the center and then piercing the clouds on this side. Let's do one more piercing in the clouds after this one. <laughs> and then come back to center. All right. So, uh, why don't we step out like in the L position? Raise our hands up, shoulder height, and push the mountain. Pushing the mountain. Whoop. <laughs> We're basically pushing away all of the bad, and then as our hands come back, we're bringing in the good and the love and the peace. Let's push again one last time before we come back to center. And let's come back to center. And again, step out into the L position as we push the mountain on the other side. Uh oh. <laughs> I remember those days. Oh, 
Okay, let's push one last time. And then we come back to center. And again, let's uh, take that little energy ball and we're pretending that we have an energy ball. It's called Chi. And Chi is breath. It's your breath, your energy. And so we, it's just an imaginary ball that corresponds with that. And we're just circling it out in front of us. Just letting it rotate. And what I'm doing is, as I bring it in towards me, I'm inhaling. And as it goes out, I'm exhaling. But of course, the important thing is for you to breathe naturally as your body is comfortable with. And I always like to change things up a little bit so we could just reverse rotation. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen Dukes of Hazard, but uh, that's the sound of a bunch of squealing car tires as, as they make a big U-turn. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Green. Copper. So let's let that energy ball just kind of slow down a little bit and then let it just come to a rest right here in front of your heart. And so we're going to continue. Uh, what we're going to do is play with the river. And as we play with the river, as we spread our hands out like that, what we're doing is casting off the old breath and energy and scooping up fresh energy. So it's called harmonizing the chi for those who are interested. And again, the chi is pretty much just your energy and your breath. What keeps your body going? Yeah, we're just kind of harmonizing our chi as we play in the river. Now, it can go a little bit steeper like this, and we're greeting the sun as we exchange our old chi for good chi. What is this like? Uh, the image of pulling taffy comes to mind, but I don't know. It'd probably end up being a big mess if you did it like this. I was, I'm not sure. Had some kind of visual, and then it slipped away. <laughs> there you go. As you're casting the spent chi off. It's sort of like greeting the sun. Hello, sun. Hello. Hello. 
So let's uh, kind of bring our hands back together in front of our heart. We've still got this ball, this little energy ball, but we're gonna we're gonna kind of like we're getting ready to toss it to this to the top of a mountain. So let's come up and across, and toss it up, and then let our hands fall it as it comes down the zigzaggy road. And as it switches this way and this way, and then comes over to our other hip. And now let's fling it up there and then let it come down that switch switch back your road. And then it comes down to the other hip. Let's do that again, flipping it up there. Let our hands follow down and then flip it up again. I'll let you in on a secret. There's four little switchbacks. So you fling it up there and you go one, two, three, and the fourth one will get you to your opposite side. So, bing. And if you lose track, if you lose count, that's all right. <laughs> oh, okay. All righty then. So, very good. That was that was wonderful. You guys did great. Yeah, and so we're gonna we're gonna wind down our class now. And you, I know you guys were eating lunch when we started, but when we started, we unpacked our chi, our energy. So now we're gonna pack it back up for another time. So we'll stand at the ready position, and we bring our hands up, and we're bringing it in and pushing it back down into our body. Yeah. And let's uh, let's take one last scoop and push it on down into our belly. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautifully done. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you so much for joining us.